so that's the main intent of this video like most of my videos i want to cater uh, intermediate to advanced uh, developers uh, also researchers so that they, they can uh, get inspired from my videos and then they can think deep and uh, they can you know do some research based on you know whatever episodes they watch in linux channel so that's the intent you can see here i have done a very basic code you can generally search about man page of a map uh, man a map and you can get the man page you can see here it creates a mapping memory mapping virtual address space to calling process and then if it is null this is what happens so you can read uh, some amount of man page and luckily uh, you don't need to even rely on my code you, there is also a wiki page available for a map uh, you can go here and you can type generally a map and you get a nice wiki article uh this is here yeah you can see here we get in the first search result there's an extensive article on m map you can see there this is what this is what happens and also they have even provided a sample code and this is even better code than just you know my vague example because uh, see they are using couple of m maps and they are uh, splitting into a two processes and they can use this m map like a ipc kind of situation okay so this is the intent of this example in my example that is not the intent so this is a different way to use a map and uh, similarly if you search online you get various other examples of m map okay so this is what so here you can see they do that and they can uh, use it like any typical ipc and they mentioned that you know code results and stuff okay so that's what so uh, when uh, you are uh, free and if you are curious anyway you can read that so i just want to go with the flow and show some quick uh, you know uh, walk through of the code so that you will understand okay so if you uh have a look at my code see it is quite simple i have this uh, you need to do this uh, sys map whatever it is dot header file and then uh, uh, in case sometimes if you are confused you can anyway do this man page and find which is the corresponding header file sometimes i do that uh, sometimes i search in online sometimes even you can search uh, a user include and then find the relevant header file which is supposed to be added so you can see you, here is this mm and uh, this uh, you know provides the library support for that mm so you can go here uh, in this case actually i'm supposed to use uh, uh, i mean you can uh, see the syntax of that to see you can uh, provide an address it kind of provides from where this uh, memory mapping uh, should start or some offset of that uh, and after that you have the length and uh, you know other options so some flags and other options so you can see here i have provided zero which means uh, start from the beginning and then i have provided uh, some size of that uh, you know map memory just like you provide uh, you know you can see here i have commented just like you provide uh, an array or a malloc you can provide this and then uh, you have all these options which means uh, provided for read write access and stuff okay again i'm saying you know this is not again i don't want to emphasize too much in this video you can read this man page and internet examples as well okay so you can see here what is the permissions have to be provided and then there are also other control parameters like anonymous map private and stuff if you want to provide a sh shared access uh, i mean shared shared access uh, you know in this uh, case uh, this uh, wiki example you can see here they are providing map shared and stuff whereas in my case i provided map uh, private i can even provide map shared this example will work uh, no matter what i provide there after that there is this option of file descriptor uh, but in real world cases sometimes you can actually mo you know point it towards any file in this case so they are doing this way even i can do the same way like what mentioned in the wikipedia so in my case i just uh, provided a dummy file descriptor uh, i can even do one thing uh, this uh, file descriptor i can even just uh, do this way uh, you know i can just copy this and uh, i can put this logic uh, it is anyway dev 0 so it is not uh, you know as you can see here it is not pointing anywhere so here i can do a test uh, you know i can just uh, print print of uh, you know uh, open error bank backslash n and double quotes see something like that i can do and that file descriptor i can provide whereas in the wikipedia they have initialized here ft equal to minus one and stuff whereas here i have not done which is not anyway going to make any difference so this is what it is and we are passing this uh, file descriptor and uh, yeah that's about it and if needed you can even do a return over here so that you don't want to continue the 
flow of that code further after that point so you can do that and here you can see here uh, open they are mentioning read write access and stuff so anyway so this way we will get that uh, you know file descriptor initialized and there are uh, the fi final one is some kind of offset or something yeah you can see there that offset and all. again you can go through the full documentation when you are free and more serious uh, in terms of using this n app okay so i'm providing uh, zero as a default after that you can see here if it is failed i'm returning uh, null uh, i'm sorry i'm coming out uh, of the code with this written or i can just print and come out and then uh, in the code we are just accessing uh, doing a sample access of this uh, you know buffer okay so i'm just doing a memset and you can see here i'm uh, you know copying strcpy and if you are interested you can do any msets mem copy memset and anything you can do so it's just like any array or malloc assigned buffer so you can just use it the way you use any buffer so that's what is the intent and after that i'm printing here since it's a string i'm doing a percentages and printing that buffer in case if it is any binary buffer you can put any for loop while loop and then uh, print uh, the hexadecimal characters and stuff okay so you can do that way and after that we are doing an uh, unmap you can see here memory unmap m uh, m unmap and we are passing this and uh, it is going to you know clear that mapping and it is going to you know uh, uh, free up that uh, resource okay so this is what it is so what we do is we can just uh, come out of this man page and uh, we can just do a quick compile minus o uh, a map a map dot c and uh, here it is showing some error yeah i have not provided any hash defined for this uh, wiki borrowed example so i need to include one of this ap so i don't know which one it is so i'm just copying all this header files next to it so it doesn't matter if there is any duplicates also see std twice it is there maybe if you want you can delete it it doesn't matter it's just going to work so we quickly compile i'm sorry we quickly compile and you can see here this time it compiles because whatever the hash defined it is missing and other this thing it is addressed by those uh, you know include files okay so what you can do is you can run this and you can see there if i run this it shows that uh, hello world just like any memory access see technically what is happening is if you do this uh, this is a m map uh, in a more uh, straightforward way it has been used so it is going to work just the same almost as any uh, you know um, your typical malloc or static array okay so there is no much difference so technically what is happening is uh, by doing that we created some uh, you know mapped memory space let's suppose this page is uh, containing that map stuff so somewhere this uh, process whatever is that process which is doing that it has been you know let me represent in some some other color so this process is attached to this shared memory space the advantage is when you do this and uh, in the wiki example if you go and you can see there they are splitting that you know a single process into two processes with this fork and other stuff so when you do that uh, from other process also you can access the same address space that's the main intent see you can access the same address space and this provides a basis of some type of ipc without much involving the kernel see when you do any shared memory again kernel is involved if you do any message queues or udp sockets or something like that or in general any sockets or something like that you know kernel is involved and kernel provides a sort of basis so any time you do via message queues or something what happens so see a data goes from you know user space to the kernel space and from the kernel space another you know process is going to receive that see this is the cumbersome thing happens with any message queues or you know uh, sockets okay message queue queue or sockets ipc but in this case since we are keeping a uh, mapped memory here and it is uh, kind of uh, it's a you know common area it is not bound to any uh, process memory address space so that gives the freedom uh, any bunch of processes can use that so in case if you use this technique then it is going to have the same rules like any other uh, uh you know shared memory stuff so if you do that of course you need to put synchronization and stuff so that you don't get that race condition some process is writing some process is reading it should uh, you know synchronize so that's what so this is what it is so this is what essentially happens with this uh, m map 
so in this example it is quite uh, simple like this but there are also situations uh, you can write a character driver you can write uh, some type of uh, uh, kernel uh, mapped memory sometimes it can be a memory space in hardware also okay sometimes it can be a memory space uh, it can be memory inside the hardware also okay let me depict in some way like this and uh, let's suppose this hardware has some type of you know buffer so sometimes with some type of uh, kernel driver you can actually map this way okay what happens is you can map this way and through mem mmap uh, api you can directly access that address space uh, to this uh, you know give access of that address space to that uh, you know process so this way you can do so that's what this is what uh, it uh, opens up lot of possibilities uh, you know this uh, if you are uh, some intermediate or beginner level maybe i'm not sure what extent you can uh, utilize a feature like that but if you are an advanced uh, arc